take on the banking sector overall in Europe right now. So there are various challenges. We talk about sustainability, we could talk about monetary policy, we talk about regulation. Do you believe that European banks are a disadvantage compared to US banks? No, no. Uh, European banks have done a lot over the uh, 10 last years. Uh, they have improved a lot. They have increased their capital base. Uh, many banks had difficulties about NPLs. Uh, it's very well known. Uh, we see the beginning of the, uh, of the treatment of these NPLs. Uh, when you look at the situation of Italy, for instance, uh, the size of the NPLs has decreased in the banking sector, uh, which, is, which is good. Uh, we see uh, restructuring in the banking sector. So we see a real move of, uh, to make European banks uh, stronger. Uh, we don't see yet too much uh, cross-border consolidation, even if it is wished uh, by many, but we see market share consolidation. Uh, it's clear that there is a restructuring of the whole market in, in the banking industry in, in Europe, but European banks are strong and can face and do face competition in an efficient way. Um, on consolidation, do you believe that there's appetite from regulators to see consolidation? And would this be domestic consolidation or cross-border consolidation? Well, in, in Europe, as in many regions, many people think that there are too many banks uh, of the whole. Uh, uh, not in a specific given country, uh, but as a whole. Uh, and, probably uh, we need consolidation. Once more, there is market share consolidation. We see it in many uh, business lines. Uh, we begin to see more consolidation at the domestic level, at the national level in Europe, which is normal. It's a normal process to start like this, to put people together. It's easier. Uh, shall we see cross-border consolidation in a second step? The future will tell. Uh, but for the time being, I think consolidation will be at the domestic level. Uh, what kind of consolidation? We see a lot more uh, activity on the asset management. Is this because of fee pressure? And again, what does it mean for big banks such as BNP Paribas? Well, you have a lot of theories on this. Uh, big is better than small. Uh, yes, we, we see some kind of consolidation. Uh, but at the same time, uh, in BNP Paribas, we pay a lot of attention to the quality of the clients, to the network we serve, and uh, we do believe that a strong asset management is a key asset for a bank like BNP Paribas serving uh, their cli our clients. So we, we see changes, uh, we understand them, uh, we are, and we are very comfortable with the changes. This is normal, they are adaptation, but we have a very strong position.